who use pocket diapers know that those things do not unstuff themselves. I've tried various other brands that brag about, you know, our inserts agitate out. Well, I mean, it never really happened for me. But then I thought about it more and I realized, you know, well, I'm also stuffing them with like large bamboo flats, which aren't designed for them. And I did that because that was the bare minimum I could put in the diapers for my son, because he flooded. Well, with Holtwood now, he's not quite the ridiculous heavy wetter that his older brother is. And so I can actually get away with the inserts that are designed to come with these kinds of diapers. So I decided to pin a couple brands against each other just out of curiosity to see what would happen. I picked Apple Cheeks because it's like big bold on their site. Like, hello, our inserts agitate out. We're so amazing. Look at our intuitive design, which to be frank, intuitive design pocket right where poop goes. I don't know about that. Another site that advertises that they have inserts that agitate out is Lullaby Baby. I've never really tried, correction, I had one diaper in the past and I didn't, I think I maybe used it once and then resold it cause I was just like, meh. But I figured I'd give them a try again. And I grabbed a couple off the buy sell trade, a couple new and see how well they work as far as agitating the insert out. Now of course I have to throw Baby Boo into the mess because I'm a brand rep for Baby Boo diapers. Only makes sense for me to try. And it's not exactly like, plastered all over her website though. It is in the description of her choice all into's, just not predominantly displayed in like the front page like Apple Cheeks is. It was using those baby boo diapers that made me think, so is the reason maybe that I didn't have success with inserts agitating out in the past was because I was using things that weren't designed for the diaper? So with my initial test, I was testing out about three of each of the brands, three lullabies, three baby boo, and three Apple Cheeks diapers. So that meant with the Apple Cheeks diaper, I was using the two ply bamboo insert thing that it, you could get for them trifolded and stuffed in there um, and of course they have that pocket like right in the middle of the poop zone um, they say that that's what works um, and then for baby boo diapers I have the single insert in there for the initial testing I added the extra um, like booster insert like the little petite sized one later and it the baby boo brand diapers have the back pocket and the front pocket and then the lullaby baby diaper has I believe I've been using both inserts right from the start I don't know why? I might have not. I don't remember. That's bad. But they also have a pocket in the front. Front pocket's not quite as big as I thought it would be. Um, and then they have the back pocket as well. Baby! So I went through and used each diaper over the course of a couple days until my pail was so full that it just didn't want to close. And I did this like four times or was it five times i don't remember you're gonna find out i'm not gonna lie a lot of the reason i did this too was just because i wanted to set my camera back up in my washer again i find that fun but i kept having problems with my battery dying so here are the results of that so welcome to the horror show that is my basement and this is my setup i had here this is a, a work lamp that uh is supposed to go under the hood of a car but it's waterproof we'll see probably a little bit better than maybe this series of tiny lights i glued magnets to <laughs> And then of course I've got my washer cam. So, washer cam, as you can see. So um, that's going to be watching inside the whole time. And I have all the diapers here, the detergent's already in the drum. So this is going to be staying facing up because as I close the lid, as you can see, if I'm careful enough, it should stay. Open it up and ta-da, here I am again. So. In goes dirty diapers. Of course, it isn't just the um, diapers for this experiment that I'm using. I have nighttime diapers and a few other things in there as well. So here we go. a little water on it. Let's see, how are we doing? So. I'm just fluffing things up. I'm not actually like pulling anything out, but.
So my biggest fear is always that my camera's gonna die and at some point in time, washer cam, I think, died. So I'll find out when I pull the camera information off uh, when exactly during the washing process it died. So I just opened everything up. In fact, I forgot to turn this off. This is half dead. No washer cam angle for pulling the laundry out. So I apologize in advance that both my camera died and everybody's flopping around upstairs. So here is everything in here starting to fall down. So we've got one baby boo that unstuffed. Another baby boo that unstuffed. Another baby boo unstuffed. And another baby boo that unstuffed. So. Here's an apple cheeks. It unstuffed. Gerber doing a review on that soon. Here's a lullaby. It unstuffed. Here's an apple cheeks. It unstuffed. Here's an apple cheeks and it did not unstuff. In fact, it didn't even wad up. This must have gotten stuck. This one stayed wadded up in there. This one agitated out. It's a lullaby. This one. Agitated out. And last but not least, yet another apple cheeks. The insert wedged in there in the most hilarious of fashions. Well, I'm actually impressed with the results so far, but I don't feel like one wash is a really good test, is it? I think we're going to do this again. So, I got this set up. I've got my detergent down in the bottom. So, in goes diapers. Not unstuffing any of them. So, by the way, I love this shirt. This is so legit. So, close that up. Oh, I guess it helps if I turn the camera up too, because that would be funny. I'm gonna angle it slightly down more and set this to a warm water wash. Be back in 45 minutes. Seriously though, like it's nighttime, so it's like kind of dark. Anybody else have like a basement of death that's like you have to turn off this light and like run through the dark and try not to die? Like something's gonna get you? Like, <laughs> oh gosh, it's gonna get me. Alright, so. Alright. So. I'm doing the same thing I usually do. I'm just sort of fluffing things up a little bit. Not actually doing a whole lot beyond that. In goes the next round of detergent. And I will see you guys again in about 50 minutes. Let's angle that a little bit more down. And put that on hot.
This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> But this makes it easier to see. So it is done. Let's see if you live this time. Oh, nope, it died again. Oh well. I love this thing, by the way. So let's see what we got. Baby boo. Mm, apple cheeks. Lullaby. Apple cheeks. Baby boo. Baby boo. Lullaby. Baby boo. Lullaby. <sighs> and Wow. I don't know about you guys, but I actually had higher expectations of apple cheeks this time considering how well it performed in the last load of laundry. And wow, uh, I do have more lullaby diapers coming in the mail, I think Monday, so I can add a few more of those to the mix. So, cause I only have three right now, but I think I'm gonna wait on my next batch of lullaby diapers. And then I think I'm gonna do this again just to, see how they do. By the way, if you like this t-shirt, you can find it at Etsy and I'm going to throw that link in the description box below. And my basement is like mad creepy right now. Like just waiting for something to come out of the like darkness. Especially this mess. Like look at that. Like that's like death. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Done. So a couple things different about this time. This time I think I'm just going to go ahead and recharge the camera in between loads even though that's time consuming. Another thing is that I've also added to my stash. I have a couple more lullaby in there. And then last, I also have a larger than usual load. Let's see how it turns out this time with a larger load and a couple more lullabies in there. And then, ta -da -da. All right, so we are recording from this one now too. So let's get this facing down so you can see, and then y'all can see there too. Um, so I've also got my light here. I love this thing, by the way, right there, which is funny because now it's like right there inside the camera view, but whatever. So larger than normal load, in goes the diapers and trainers and underwear and stuff and the bag. So, we're going to turn this up now, oh, and put that down and set my machine to start. So, I'll be back. So I gave my girls a bath and I let them play and I lost track of time. So this has probably been done for a while. So we're going to stop it. Give this guy a little charge. And in the meantime, all of this stuff that's in there, I'm literally just going to leave it like that. Right, so got it going again. So hopefully this doesn't die this time. And into the case you go. Whoop. And whoop. so we're gonna turn this light back on. I'm gonna fluff things up a little bit. You can see that I hadn't touched anything on the camera. I have some detergent. And I will see you guys again in about 50 minutes. Put it on hot. 
and start. I'll be back. Maybe not this evening, but tomorrow morning, if not this evening. This is done, and it's been like two hours, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is dead, because <laughs> that's how long it took for it to die last time. It's dead. <laughs> Didn't I turn on this light? Let's actually just pick this thing way up high. Ugh. That's a decent angle, right? Here's a baby boo diaper, empty. Baby boo diaper, empty. There's a lullaby. There's another lullaby. Emptied out. There's a baby boop. Here's a an apple cheeks. Um, here's a lullaby. It's empty. Oh, this is a first. There's a baby boo diaper with the insert still in it. Lullaby empty. Another apple cheeks. Another apple cheeks. Here's a lullaby that didn't unstop. Here's another one that didn't unstop. That's it. All right, hi everybody. My yucky diapers. And I think this is going to be the last time that I do this <laughs> so I can get this video edited and put together. Um, and I'm not going to unstuff them. I am going to recharge this and the light. I have not as large of a load as last time, but on the larger side of my average. We'll see how this turns out and how this runs. And that being the case, I will see you guys when this is done. So let's get this machine started. Make sure that that's angled properly. Put this on heavy duty and warm and heavy soil. Oh, <clears throat> Ooh, that's bright. All right, so let me see what's going on here. Yep, so we're going to stop this video. I'm not going to touch this tonight because I want to make sure I give my devices plenty of time to charge. And then I will finish it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no. Hello laundry and good morning. This is in case you're wondering what I look like when I wake up less than an hour ago. It looks like this. So I haven't touched any of this mess. 
still just as I left it. Alright, we are going to get this started. So, there it goes. Hi there! Okay, I uh, don't think I put detergent in there yet because that wouldn't have made any sense. Also, it doesn't make sense because normally what I do is I fluff up the laundry a little bit. I kind of grab everything off the wall and just kind of pull and let go. Just to kind of fluff everything back up. That's all I do. Some detergent in. And let's turn you up so that you can see the laundry. And in you go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I got a little bit. Let's see what we got. So since this is probably, I mean, I was saying my camera is not dead because the little blue light's still flashing and it's going still. So I'm actually going to leave this camera run since I actually have the option to. We have a lullaby that's empty. So we have a baby boo that's empty. We have another baby boo empty. And <laughs> looks like we have a insert still wedged in the back of the apple cheeks. It's So here's an apple cheeks it unstuffed. Here's another lullaby, it unstuffed. Um, oh, look at that. What do we do, count that as like a half point? It's right there. And I mean, if I pull it, like it goes back to here. So it, it's stuffed in there about as far as here. So say it was practically out. What is that? We'll do a half point. We <laughs> count that as a half point. That's actually, isn't that like the first time I had one out and stuff? I can't remember. For you, it's been like a couple minutes. For me, it's been days. <laughs> the magic of TV. Okay. So I see another lullaby that's unstuffed. Did I seriously only have those two apple cheek? Because I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. My pail was full and I was like, okay, I gotta wash these things. And then I've got another baby boo down here, and this one's empty. So, like I said before, I don't know, what do you think? I know what I think. I'm thinking flats are going to get stuffed into these things next. Just, I'm just curious. <laughs> I just want to see. Just, why not? I'm already doing this, right? So, let's see. Yeah. Now, as it stands, I'm already looking at probably like three years worth of video editing here with all of these loads I'm doing. And I'm going on three weeks into this. I am doing one more run because I have to know. So in here, I did laundry. I got these folded. The row up front here has diaper right newborns in them. Most of them are diaper right newborns. Like one of them, I think it's this one. No, it's this one. Has a cotton baby's infant size Indian cotton pre-fold because I don't know what happened to my sixth diaper eight newborn pre-fold. And then in this back row here, these all have um, flats, the bamboo diaper right flats. So flats, pre-folds, there should be two of each of the brands um, that have flats and two of each of the brands that have pre-folds. So this time I tried to keep my load side as load size as optimal as possible to hopefully make this work. If it doesn't work for this, it ain't gonna work. We are going to 
charging full. Now here's the thing. I charged this thing as maximal as I could and I'm going to set a timer so I can get to it, change the load, get it going as quick as possible. Hoping it survives. If it doesn't, I'm sick of fighting it. And hello. All right. So here I've got this half of a Grovia pail liner for my machine, which is only three and a half cubic feet. It's an optimal load size. Um, <laughs> so I've got the diapers in there and you can see they're still um, stuffed and whatnot. This is probably filling about, you know, half of my machine is yeah, probably a solid half. And I find that that works best for my machine. Let's angle this up. See you guys in a bit. We're going to keep it a little more angled towards the center. Get this thing set and I'll be back in 45 minutes. Running out of Purex. The Purex is near the end. The end is nigh. Click. Click. Hello. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is kind of fluff things up a little bit. I can tell just from feeling in there. It's not very promising. All right. Fluff things up a little bit. Add some detergent. We'll see how well you do. See ya. <laughs> I might not see you. This thing might die before then, so. Now, I have a feeling this camera may have died. Big surprise, it died. So what I'm gonna do is move you closer then. Move you there so I can pull things out and you can see. I see a flat. That's encouraging. Here's a flat. <laughs> I missed my dryer. Okay. So here's a lullaby. And it looks like it really wanted to come out. Half point for lullaby. <laughs> All right, here we got another lullaby. This one has a pre-fold and it's still in there. All right, here we got another lullaby wedged up in there. And, oh! <gasps> Baby Boo, my, my sun diaper didn't let me down. Point for Baby Boo. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think any of them were gonna have anything agitate out, so I'm kind of impressed already. All right. All right. Um, flat diaper still 1000% tucked up in there. Another apple cheeks. This one's uh, one with a pre-fold in it that got wedged all the way to the front. And yet another apple cheeks. <clears throat> oh my gosh! And yet another baby boo diaper did not let me down. Ooh, all right, so we have a lullaby that agitated out too. A pail liner. Um, let's see. <gasps> Apple cheeks, you got one. And, oh, baby boo. The last diaper is a baby boo and, uh, this one, should we call that a half point? It's my rules, right? Um, that's prac that's literally half out. So this is a pre-fold. So well, that's all of them. I'm in 
impressed. A little. I mean, I'm only impressed because my expectations were like nothing. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say if you want diapers to agitate the insert out in the wash, probably use the insert that it's designed for. But if you ask anybody who po uses pocket diapers, it's really not that bad to just pinch the insert inside and pinch the front. And as you're putting it in the pail, pull them apart and drop them in. And then another thing too, I mean, it really depends on your machine. These are just my circumstances, how all of this turned out. It really boils down to your machine, really, and your load size. Those two things factor in a lot on whether or not a lot of these diapers that are designed to have the inserts agitate out can actually insert can actually agitate out the inserts. But frankly, if you're gonna use pocket style diapers, prepare to have to unstuff them. That is one noisy dryer. Honestly, I'm surprised I could even hear myself think over that dryer. But I have a dryer. To summarize, pocket diapers. Some unstuff themselves, some don't. Might work better for you. If you stuff it with something different, probably not. But it takes like two freaking seconds to unstuff those things, unless you have an apple cheeks diaper. Most of the time what ends up happening with the apple cheeks is I end up going back into the machine after the first wash and manually unstuffing them for the second wash. Apple cheeks, not usually a huge fan of. I use them, I think they're cute looking, but just that pockets like right there in the poop zone like couldn't put it somewhere else i mean i guess maybe not but they are really easy to stuff and that's kind of nice so let me know in the comments below if any of these results surprised you or if you use any of these brands or any other brand and you have success if you found this remotely amusing or at all interesting give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe if you're interested in giveaways because I, I i like giving away things and have a blessed day